art in Singapore is kind of like a closet thing. You don't really see a lot of artists come out and tell everyone, hey, I'm an artist. The beauty of the ACSI art program is that it just lets you break out of this closet that we're trapped in. Today, in the world of art, teaching art, art programs, we are a bit different here at ACS Independent. We believe that it's no longer just taking traditional approaches, nothing wrong with the traditional approaches, but for example, I look at this little, uh, you call it traditional still life here with the wine bottles, the fruit set inside a, a red velvet French horn case and looks a bit like what you might see uh, some of the old masters painting and they were great but we're taking our students beyond that they may start with something somewhat related to this but then we take them much much further Well, for me, what really, you know, got me interested in art in ACSI and the International Baccalaureate was the sheer ability to choose basically whatever I wanted to do. Now, in most schools, you have this thing called a syllabus. You know, you do this number of artists, this number of techniques, must pursue this number of themes. Here in ACSI and the International Baccalaureate, we don't have that. We want to train our students to be able to weave their story, their commentary, their expression that they want to visualize by being able to process this kind of visual data and the meaning that's attached to it. character that is deeply ingrained in me is my curiosity and art really fulfills that satisfaction in me. Everyone will tell you that art is the most useless subject and believe me the whole world will tell you that art is the most useless subject but to me it's the most useful because unlike everything else you don't have everything handed to you on a platter it's not like all the information is there laid out for you in like notes or anything it's, it's an exploration where you really just go out there go into the world and you observe and you explore everything for yourself everything is a Everything's a personal journey in art, and that's what makes it so special to me. Art is really all about experience, not just being able to draw something good. It's confrontational. Every single dab, every single stroke I make, man, I need to tell myself, I can do this. You know, we live through our life, especially life in Ivy with so much inertia. Like, there's just so, much, so many things to do, right? and, and then just live through life like that but when I paint I tell myself I can do this I can overcome something that I've never actually done before in this art program in art so I start from scratch I stretch my own canvas I pry my own canvas and I paint and and the end product I've done all of it by myself one of the more exciting things about being an artist is not knowing where the next idea is going to come from and because of that, the way we perceive our world is very different. Things that other people will walk past without so much as a second glance are usually the things that excite artists. Art has challenged me to look at the real world. It has challenged me to look at something that is real. And because whatever I produce needs to be true, then in my own personal life, I need to come to terms with a lot of things as well. So it's not just in terms of technique, it's not just in terms of, of, of pencil work. Personally and emotionally as well, I need to be sorted out before I can produce something that I can say that I'm really proud of that. Really the one thing I don't want to end up doing is something I don't enjoy. Because my passion lies in art, 
and because I know that one of my deepest fears is ending up leading a normal life where I'm just putting bread on the table but not enjoying my job or my work, I chose art because I know even though um, job opportunities may not be as safe, I, it may not be as safe in guaranteeing me a secure future, I know it's what I want to do. Lah. Art has gone far beyond that simple and in some ways beautiful little traditional still life. Our desire and our objective is to enable the student who have these intangible imprints embedded in their minds to be able through the creative process and through technical processes to release them, to, uh, to in a sense lift the veil that they might make those intangible images of the mind tangible. It's a real privilege for us to be a part of this journey with our students and that they may become the future leaders, whether it be in government, in business, in science, in the arts, that they will be minds that can take what is and push it to what might be. It's a good place to be an artist. It's the best place to be an artist. It's a brilliant opportunity and it's one I'm really thankful for.